What's up, YouTube? Today, I want to talk about salary cap. A lot of people ask me about my team all the time. Can I see your team? Why do you have Le'Veon Bell at fullback? Why do you have this, that, and third? Where do I start with a salary cap team? What's the best way to compete? I want to start competing, but I don't know how to run my team. I need to get it better. I need to put everything together. So this is just a little video to help you guys understand what I do and with my salary cap team. And I said a lot of talk over the years about Madden's pay to play. You know, but now I've always felt like if you start right away competing, you won't be left behind when the good cards come out. Because right now there's no real crazy card with all the power of programs. You can get comparable cards to everybody in the game pretty much as long as you have a little bit of training and enough coin to buy the base card. So I think now is the perfect time for anybody that wants to compete in Club Series, which is $700,000 worth of prize money. You know, the whole pool is a million, and 700000 70% is going towards the Club Series. You have an opportunity to represent your favorite team to really compete amongst the, the great man players in the world. So if this is something you're interested in, I mean, I would never, people ask me, I don't know if my team is ready. I don't know if I'm ready. If you sit there forever, you'll never be ready. You know, the time is now to get your team, get your feet wet, get out there on the leaderboards, and, you know, see what you got. You know, you're only going to get better playing the best people, playing the leaderboards and moving up there. That's that's pretty much what I recommend. And I'll show you guys some things that I do to, you know, make sure my team is as good as it can be. And, and I'll show you mostly what, I look for in a team and, and what it's about. And what I'll show you here now is just, just my offense, really. You know, you got to figure out the main thing with salary cap is you have to figure out what you want to run. Because you only have a cap, you can't have an obnoxious amount of personnel. You know, you're going to have to think about what positions are important to you on your offense. Now, I'm a passing type of person. I like to be in three wide receiver sets with a tight end and a running back. So to me, I want three wide receivers. And I want a tight end, and I want a running back. And obviously, I've I've always been, since salary cap came out, I've always felt like I wanted to have the best quarterback I could possibly have. Michael Vick is the best quarterback in the game. Don't think twice about it. If you have a problem using a left-handed quarterback, stop thinking about that. I would recommend Michael Vick. I feel like every quarterback throws the same, messes up some throws, but Michael Vick is the fastest player on the field, and he's your quarterback. So, I, I mean, that's where I would go. I mean, that's just that's just personal preference, but I, I think he's the best. But anyway, back to salary cap. So, I have my three wide receivers. I have Tyreek Hill, Randy Moss, and DJ Shark. Shark is a type of player where we can save cap. You know, that's something that, that you got to find. What player is good but still low cap? Where you see Randy Moss over here is 50 cap. You see DJ Shark, who's 6'3", 87 speed, is 22 cap. So these are the wide receivers that I put on my team. So like Randy Moss is 50, but then you see Shark. Obviously, his ratings aren't great. He's not good, but he's tall, and he's got great speed for the mode right now. And for 22 cap, you can do a lot worse than him out there. And obviously, to me, Tyreek Hill is a must because he's the only 92 speed player you can have. And to have that speed, you'd be able to use it, give him a ball, make huge plays. Between Moss, Tyreek Hill, Evan Ingram for me too because he's as fast as a tight end can be. And Gurley, I like. I mean, running back is just, that's pretty much what I had. You see, it, it's a net player. That's what I put out there. Now, so if these are my five players that I want to use, my three wide receivers, my tight end, and my running back. Boom. Those are my five skill position players. Now, you have to fill up your lineup. But the other players aren't going to play. I'm not going to run a two tight end set. I'm not going to run, you know, two uh, full back and, and, you know, three tight ends or anything. So every player other than that has to be the minimal cap because I need a backup tight end. It's for my whole roster. So he's going to be 10 cap, the power up Dylan Walker. And they actually made it better this year because last year we would have 10 caps and they would have 42 speed and, and they would be, just be terrible players. But the Dylan Walker power up type player isn't a bad card. 70 speed, obviously, you never really want him in the game. But if he has to play in the game, he's not atrocious and he'll be able to even run a drag, catch it, and get a couple of yards for you. Same thing with backup running back. And fullback. That's why I have Le'Veon Bell there. You need to fill out that position. Anybody with 10 cap will work. I don't know if there's a Neil. There's probably another fullback that's cheaper. Or not cheaper, but, you know, also 10 cap you can put in there. But like I said, Le'Veon Bell still has a little bit of speed. Same thing, I have Alvin Kamara. Now, obviously, you can put a, a, a wide receiver there. I believe the Golden Tate power-up is 10 cap. But anybody that's 10 cap, 
because these guys really don't see your field. If you're using, you know, if you're taking your time at the line of scrimmage, you're not going on 15 play drives. These guys really won't see your field that much, so they don't need to be anybody good. That way, instead of putting 15 cap people there, if I have 15 cap people there, that's a whole 15 cap that I'm wasting because they don't see the field. So that's pretty much the idea. You have to identify, man, I'm running three wide receivers, I'm running a tight end and a running back. Everybody else in the backups have to be 10 cap. My offensive line, I feel like, I feel like the center has always been pretty important, especially when you're running the ball. I have basically Travis Frederick. I haven't really had a problem with cap. If I do, this would probably be a spot where I would, you know, kind of try to skip back, maybe go with a power up center. I have power up Lane Johnson, who's 28 cap. I feel like the tackles are really important. Not necessarily when you're playing. Like you can watch and watch, you know, the, the elite, the elite man players blitz and do all these blitzes and stuff where your offensive line doesn't matter. But what you have to realize is that when you're playing a leaderboard, you're going to have to beat more than just the elite man players. You're going to have to beat everybody. And a lot of people will rely on block shed defense and just rush four and just rush three. So you have to be able to beat those guys as well as the people that are going to blitz everybody. Because people will say, oh, offensive line doesn't matter. People are blitzing me and uh, my tackle is pointless. Yeah, maybe against that particular guy, but the next game you might play, you know, somebody else that's running a little 4-3 defense where they're just spying the D-tackle and rushing the three people, and that's when you're going to need Lane Johnson and Trent Williams to make hold up. And obviously, they're still going to get shedded. People say, ah, oh, it doesn't matter, offensive line. I mean, obviously, I, I would say it always matters because these guys might get shedded once every four plays as opposed to once every three plays or once every two two plays. You know, it's just a big difference. I've been comfortable with this offensive line I have so far. And my guards are just power up. Like they're just the, they're not ten cat, fifteen cat power ups. I, I gave them a little bit of juice. As I said, you know, I gave Rodney Hudson up to sixteen cap. I think Norwood has actually up to thirteen. I lower these guys and raise them depending on where my cap is. If I need to find three cap, I'll go lower down Andrew Norwell a little bit. And if I had some extra cap, you know, let me put up my guards a little bit so when I run base, they block a little bit better. So these guys to me really aren't that great. And like I said, if I if I need say a new card comes out, I want to add another DB to my secondary. Or if I want to make Shark better, maybe I'll drop down Frederick instead of 28 cap. I'll drop him to 20. This is very uh, uh, versatile as far as your cap and your offensive line. But for me, in salary cap right now, you need some version of Randy Moss and Tyreek Hill. I think those two guys are automatic locks. Should be a lock for every team. One, because Moss is tall and fast and can jump and just, you know, disrespect people. And Tyreek Hill is the fastest offensive player in the game. Those two people, I feel, are a lot. It should be on every team. Everybody else, you know, that's pretty much preference and where you go with your offense. But like I said it's good. you got to identify the personnel group you're going to use. Everybody else has to be 10 caps in the backups. Now let's go to my defense. Defense, defense, defense is even more important that you recognize what formation and what personnel group you're going to run. If you want to run 3-4, obviously you want linebackers. If you're going to run nickel, maybe you want some linebackers, some defensive line. Salary cap is a mode where it is best to have one defense that you run because that way you can you know, specify your entire team and personnel group to that, that spot. Because obviously I want to run dollar. I want to put as many DBs on the field as possible. So if all of a sudden now i got to run 3-4, I'm not going to have any linebackers because I use all my salary in my DBs. So that's something you, once again, you have to recognize, boom, okay. So me personally, I have six DBs and three down linemen. And my linebackers are actually DBs too. This is where you can really save. If you decide to use a uh, dollar like myself, you can use line safeties, low cap safeties with good speed, good height, and good hip power as your linebackers rather than waste 35 cap on a Telvin Smith or find any linebacker that's over 80 speed is going to be fairly expensive cap wise where you can get a safety for you know 20 cap that's tall and 87 85 speed so that's pretty much what i've been doing and we'll get to that in a little bit but what i do is pretty much the, the biggest thing in madden in the history of madden that you can't really replace is, is size speed and hip power you know so what you have to do is find the cheap players the cheap cap golds and silvers that have that type of hip power and have that type of speed. And the height helps too, man, because, like I said, you can swap different passes that maybe a shorter guy can't swap. And so, like I said, my two safeties right here are Obi 
and Josh Jones. Like I said, I want to run dollar. I want to run six DBs, two linebackers, and three down linemen. But my safeties are OB from the Raiders, 6'3", like 85 speed. Josh Jones from the Packers, 6'2", 86 speed. Both of them have 80 plus hit power. 27 cap each, which isn't like super saving, but it's very good compared to, you know, you go get a 35 cap decent guy like that. People talk about Andre Hall, who's short, decent speed, and can't hit, and he's an elite, so he's going to be a lot more cap. So those are my two safeties. Obviously, they're not the best zone people. They're not the best man people. If, if somebody's killing that particular spot, that's why I have the corners. I can switch in and move them around. But they're fast enough to catch people when, you know, if they're running the ball. To, and they hit hard if you put your tackling on aggressive. They're two people that, one, you can fit in your salary cap. And, two, you can go buy the cards right now. You can do a solo and have enough coin to buy both Obi and Josh Jones. And that's the biggest deal for me. There's no 91 zone right now. These other super cards aren't jumping all over the field. So I feel like you can survive right now with these a lot of gold players in the secondary. Now for my corners, this season, this is actually locked into a season. I have four corners. I've run into a couple people. I've been running just plain zone, and that's fine for the gold people and, and everything because they can play a hard flat and a cloud flat. But I want to be mix up a little man a little bit more. So obviously, you know I love Patrick Peterson. I think he's the best corner in the game. He's an absolute playmaker when he gets the ball. He goes for picks. He doesn't swat anything. And he makes plays after he catches it. So, so I've always been a fan of his. He's got good height, good speed, obviously, great ball skills. And, and he can actually pop a little bit too. So he's got like 60 hit power or something. So that's pretty good for a corner right now. That's why I always liked him. Ramsey, obviously, I can't. There's nothing to say about Ramsey, but those two cards alone, I mean, you're probably looking at 600k right there between those two cards. But you can get the power up versions, get some training points, get yourself, you know, an 87 overall Pat Peter, an 88 overall Ramsey, and they can hold you down just as well as these guys too. In all honesty, so that's where I think the power up program is really, you know, good for salary cap because you can get players that are comparable to this. And in my slots, I'm going to go with Slay and Rhodes this season. Once again, good size at this. I, obviously, Xavier Rhodes is 6'1". Slay is six foot tall. Both of them are physical. They can tackle. So I'm not losing much as far as the hitting and everything. And uh, they are bo both can play man coverage. We can, we can go two man under right now and, and have pretty good defense. Obviously, all four of my corners are base elites. Like I said, I'm, I'm running dollars on my down lineman. I'm going to go Melvin Ingram as a pass rusher, Jadavion Clowney, who I think is a must. All these cards are here. I think Clowney is a must on defense, along with the OBs and Josh Jones, the, the golds that are fast and can hit. And I'm going to go with my man Vita Vai. Vita v, the people have been telling me he's a dog. I haven't even used him yet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go two down linemen, or three down linemen are Clowney, Melvin Ingram, Vita Vai. I got my four corners. Got my two safeties, and like I said, with the two linebackers, I want two safeties. I want to use Troy Apke from the Redskins, who's 19 cap. Look at, take a look at this guy. 19 cap. He has 87 speed, 62, 67 hit power. Isn't the greatest, obviously, but he can pop and to be 62 and 87 speed. There's no linebacker even close to that fast, and for 19 cap is ridiculous. Putting safeties at linebacker is a huge way to cheat in salary cap. It's a way to cheat in regs because you can get a 90-plus 90, 90 speed player, a linebacker, you can use her. But in salary cap, it's even more so valuable because I can put 19 cap in the middle of my field and be able to run around, man them up, whatever you do. And a lot of times I put them in a spy. And when the quarterback, even Vic rolls out, he's not he's fast enough to contain Michael Vick. The other guy I use is Tavarius Moore. These are two guys. I'm going to put all these names of people I think you should have on your team down in the description. So make sure you check that out. There's also more videos on MaddenTurf.com. You can click that link in my description too. Give you more salary cap videos. But these two safeties right here are 19 cap and 20 cap. Both 6'2", both 87 speed. And you look at Tavares Moore has the 73 hit power, which is really high right now, especially for a 20 cap player. I mean... To have both these goons with this height and 87 speed at linebacker is pretty cool. Now, obviously, you got to take something. You can't just get everything. You're going to have guys that they're not going to get off blocks. You're going to get pounded. So if you're going to run down, you have to be good at stopping a run out of it with your user, the way you shift your line, the way you maybe use another player. Sometimes I'll use her safety just to bring another person down in a box and get more people, get some more beef in the box pretty much is what I'm saying. 
But as far as defending the pass, I mean, it's as good as it gets. I go out here with eight DBs and three down linemen pretty much. There is no more linebacker position for me, and it saves me so much cap. Because even Telvin Smith, powered up Telvin Smith is like 34 cap. Why would I want an 82 speed Telvin Smith when I can have an 87 dude for half the cap? So to me, that's the easiest way to go ahead and uh, save some cap right there. And honestly, I I've talked to them. I think linebacker at, or uh, safety of linebacker is bad. I really do. I think I think it cheapens the motor, and I think it cheapens the fact I don't need a linebacker. I don't need any linebackers. I mean, it makes it easy on my cap, and you know, it's something that everybody's going to do. You know, and I, obviously, people say, "Oh, you're giving away secrets," but. I feel like all the smart man players that I would lose to anyway I already know this. I mean, they're not stupid. There's people that are way better than me at salary cap and getting a roster together and stuff like that. So I'm not too worried about that. Like I said, this is the way I go with eight DBs. Right now I have four good corners. Now there could be times where I have two good corners and two like average slots and safeties are not that great, depending on where I want my cap. Like, like I said, okay, so say I, I play a season – and Shark isn't doing the job for me. Like, Shark is dropping passes, and I want to go make that Odell Beckham. Like, you know, let me go put my diamond Odell Beckham there. So now, so that's going to cost me 15 cap more. So now what I'll do, I'll come down here, and I'll take Xavier Rhodes. I'll turn him into a TJ Green. That'll save me nine cap, and I might turn Slay into another safety. That's, you know, not, not that great or, or whatnot, so forth and so forth. Or I'll lower my running back. I'll make Gurley into, you know, Ronald Jones rookie. Use 10 cap there. It just depends. And like I said, I also can go to my offensive line and lower that a little bit. But I really like the way my line is playing. And I really like having the 8 DBs. And, and Clowney Ingram will fight for me on the ends. Vita Villa, he'll, he'll hold down the middle. And, and that, that's pretty much the ideal thing. I mean, you got to know the kind of these players that are cheap cap that can really be effective on your field. And I'll list all those in the description, so make sure you check it out. I'll also put the link in here so y'all can go ahead to the uh, the website and sign up for the MCS, learn how to play. And like I said, what you want to be playing to qualify for club series right now is salary cap ranked. This is salary cap ranked. This is where you find it. This is seasons right here, head-to-head. Head-to-head -head. Head -head seasons is cool, but it's not. You're not going to play anybody, professional man players on head-to-head -head seasons. You know, that's not where that's not where the goons are swimming right now. You want a salary cap ranked right here, boom. And you'll compete with the best players in the world right now. I'm 31-3, and three, and this is the team I have locked in right now and able to go ahead and compete. So if you like this, I hope you guys get in the salary cap. It's the mode that I love. It's the mode that I think is the best thing that's ever happened to Madden. I've won, you know, won a lot of games on salary cap mode, and it's something that I'm continuously thinking about and trying to improve my team. So if you like this video, you want to hear more about what I do to my team, then go ahead, hit the like button, hit the sub button, and you know comment on what other things you add to your team and what you think I can add to my team to make it better. The last thing I wanted, though, I don't know if I told you guys this, how I have my, just like offense, how I have my three down linemen, I have my ADBs, all these other guys are 10 cap players. They're all power up players, 10 caps. Jordan Hicks, Deion Jones, Terrell Suggs, Nigel Bradham, Jarrell Casey, Kenny Clark, J.J. Watt, they're all 10 caps. There's no in-between. You're either starting or playing for me, or you're a 10 cap. And that's pretty much how I save my cap on defense, just like I talked about on offense. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the sub. Let me know what else you want to see from my salary cap team. All the links are in the description, and the players I think you should get are in the description. All right, y'all. So.